Kelvin, I'm tired. No, you can't. What do you mean you're tired? You can't be tired. That was just the first round. I mean, I'm tired of being just your sex mate. Oh. This again? Yes. This again. For how long am I going to continue being just a sex thing for you? I thought we already talked about this, Anita. I, I, I told you that I just need a little more time to get rid of Janet. Kevin, you keep saying the same thing for the past five years. When are you going to man up? When are you planning on manning up to make a decision you know will be beneficial to you, me, and even to her? I just need a little more time, please. I don't have that time. Just, just a little time. I don't have it. I'm not getting any younger, Kelvin. And my father is not making it easy for me. He wants me to settle down. How are you even sure your father is going to accept me in the first place? Knowing that I'm married. Oh, come off that. You know my father likes you. And he wouldn't have a problem with whoever I present to him. Kelvin, this is the last time you will see me if you don't do the needful. scared me. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Hi. How was work? It was okay. Um, I want us to talk. Yeah? Oh, he's fast asleep. Overfeeding. <laughs> Sit. Janet, I want a divorce. Come on. This isn't working. It hasn't been working. It has never worked. We've been married for eight years now. And we've never had intimacy. What kind of marriage is that? I'm sorry. This is not how I planned it. But it's our reality. I can't continue to live this life, this lie. I'm really sorry. Janet. Janet, please open the door. Please. Come on. Baby, this is the second day you've locked yourself in there and refused letting me in. Please. Open the door so I can take you to the hospital. You need to run some tests. That boy could have had an STD. Please. Janet.
We didn't have that conversation at all. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Really? So when we got married, <laughs> when we got married, it was easy for me to say, ah, you didn't tell me this, so you didn't tell me you had a problem with this. Uh, mm, 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 don't say that. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my. Breakfast is ready. Um, I'm not hungry. Are you alright, sir? What do you want? The chairman asked me to drop this file. My marriage is failing. How can you say that when your marriage barely started? It is a month after my wedding. And my husband hasn't touched me. How is that possible? I feel he, he hasn't gotten over the robbery incident. You mean the rape? Yes, Mimi. He practically avoids me like a plague. He doesn't eat my food anymore. That's bad. But I understand what Kelvin is going through right now. And I believe he will get over it with time. You just have to be patient with him. And that I shall be for the rest of my life. Look, I'm really sorry, okay? So you have to go through all of this. Everything is going to be all right. How are you, baby? I'm fine. I want us to talk. 
You already are. I went to see the doctor this morning. Oh. So finally. Um, I'm pregnant. What did you just say? I am pregnant. Have you been? Hmm? Baby, you're drunk. Don't call me, baby. It's that bastard in your womb that is your baby. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Chief, good morning, sir. Good morning, Kevin. Please sit. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Kevin, meet my only daughter, Anita. Oh. Anita is my manager, Kevin. It's a pleasure. The flame is mutual. My father speaks highly of you. Oh, he does. <laughs> Anita just returned from Michigan, where she graduated with first class honors in communication engineering. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Congratulations. That's really good. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. So henceforth, um, she'll be the assistant manager. Oh, that's, that's good, Chief. We've had vacancy there for a while. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I, I need you to put her through and make her understand how business is done here in Nigeria. Okay. The strategies over there in the States are different from here. Yes. She needs to understand that. Yes, you're right, Chief. I'll do my best. Good. You may now return to your office. Um, once again, it's a pleasure. Looking forward to working with you. As I do, Mr. Kelvin. I'll see you around. Sure. Perfect. What do you think? He looks every bit efficient. That I guarantee you he is. Okay, Dad. So, um, I guess we need to go and get something to eat. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I have tried to talk to him about it. But he has not said a word. That's not fair of him. 
Exactly. You should also understand that this is not easy for you. Mm -hmm. He has to know that what happened wasn't your fault. And he doesn't blame me for it. He's finding it difficult to come to terms with the fact that he just sat and watched that man take my virginity on our wedding night. Calvin is a proud man. But he's punishing you with his cold attitude. He will come around soon. I really hope he does that. How old is the pregnancy? Two months and a half. Uh, hey welcome, baby, Kim. welcome. You're home early. Welcome. Hello, Mimi. Welcome. Zipora. How are you ladies doing? Fine. Baby, you're here. I've been looking for you. Come, let's go to our room. Mm, 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 mm. I'm fine here. You're spending the night here? Okay, fine. Let's sleep here together then. Not mm. just. Hey, please. I'd prefer to sleep alone. What do you mean by that? We are man and wife. We should share a bed. I just let me sleep. Since you want to sleep here, we'll stay together. What's the meaning of this now? I was hoping I could talk to you about this pregnancy. I have nothing to say to you. Kelvin, what do you mean by you have nothing to say to me? What is it? Why are you doing this to me? I am your wife. Everything that concerns me should concern you too. Why are you doing this to us? Why are you torturing me like I deliberately slept with someone else? I was raped, Kelvin. And you refused to follow me to the hospital. I literally begged you. I stood at this door and begged you for days. I begged you for weeks to follow me to the hospital so they could run proper checks on you and probably flush your system. This could have been prevented. So whose fault? <laughs> I must confess you did exceptionally well. Thank I never you. expected we are going to win. The man in charge is from the same community with Johnson. So I had already given up hope of uh, beating him to the contract. <laughs> but we did. Yeah. <laughs> All thanks to Mr. Kelvin. Oh, come on. We both worked on it together. Okay, so... This was both of us. No, no, no. Don't say that. You did most of the work. All I did was follow like a zombie. <laughs> well, everybody did their bit. So, can we not toast to this? Yes. Toast yes. <laughs> yeah. To more deals. Yes, more deals, bigger deals I for the company. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, excuse me. We go somewhere and celebrate this achievement properly. What do you think? You know, as as much as I'd really like that, I have to go home. 
Today's my birthday. Wow! Yeah, and I'm sure my wife would have prepared something very special for me. Okay. Let me take you out. Since it's your birthday, I promise I won't hold you up. I insist. I insist. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me quickly grab my things.
Thank goodness, honey. Please, can you help me drop Paul at school? I have an appointment with Pastor at my car this morning. Honey. It's okay, baby. I'll take you to school. I hope you have your inhaler with you. It's in my bag. Bring it. Let me check. Bring it. Bring it out. Hold this. Let's go. sorry, Janet. But that is not fair. How can Kelvin ask for a divorce after everything you have put up with him? That is most inhuman. It's not his fault. I blame the coward that came into my home and stole my life. Kelvin has tolerated Paul and I for years. And I, I respect him for that. You never cease to amaze me, Janet. How can you sit here and defend Kelvin after everything he has done to you and your son? I respect him for taking care of my son and I. How many men will accept to take care of a child born out of such circumstances? And how many women will live with a man who cheats on her with another woman? Newsflash, Kelvin's affair with Anita is no longer a secret. And never for once have you made him feel like he's doing something wrong. I think this is the best for us. Sure it is. He has brought you nothing but pain. You deserve something better than what he has given you. So maybe it is high time you went out there and find that one that will make you happy. Oh, oh yes. Did I, did I forget something? Sorry to disturb you. It's okay. Hi. Hi. Walk in. Uh, yeah, sort of. Just doing some research. <sighs> you know, life. 
most times does not give us what we want. Not because we are not worthy, but because we don't need it. The two years we spent together before we got married holds the most memorable moments of my life. Moments I will hold on to rather than the torrid seven years that came later. Kelvin, you have endured Paul and I. And I think you deserve to be happy. You will never be happy if you wake up every morning and see our faces. I'll be leaving in two this time. Kelvin, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free. I'll set you free, Kelvin. How could you, Kelvin? How could you throw that innocent girl and your son out of this house? Mm -mm. Have you no shame? Mama, he's not my son. Paul is not my son. Please. Oh, shut up! Then whose son is he? He was born in this house and bears your name. Your father's name, Kelvin! Mama, it's enough. Please. What else do you want from me? Mama, have I not tried seven years now? Seven years I have borne this misery. I have tried my best to raise this boy like my own. Don't you understand how painful it is for me? Don't you see that every time I look at him, he is a constant reminder of everything that is wrong with my life, everything that is wrong with my marriage. How long will I continue to raise the child of the man who, who destroyed my life and ruined my marriage? Oh, shut up. You are the only person Paul knows as a father. What about your wife? What did she do? Is she another person's wife? Kelvin, Janet was raped by a stranger on her wedding night. Did you ever think how she feel? No. Brother, you were busy sleeping around with that gold digger, that mannerless pork, that idiot, Mama, that Mama. I shower. Mama, Mama, no, I will not have you speak about Anita in that manner. Please, please, just stop there. sent me over then she come and fix the wires oh um i see so where do you want to start from uh, I, I i'll just have to look through the wires know which ones are faulty oh okay mm -hmm. um i don't know how we're going to do this thing now because i'm i'm about to take my son to school <laughs> and you're not comfortable leaving me in your apartment alone yes don't worry you don't have to bother your things are safe okay your landlord and i we're good friends I don't want to ruin it for anything. 
You could call him to confirm anyways. Uh, well, that won't be necessary. Okay. But please, don't touch anything in my bedroom. I won't. Okay, fine. Right. Paul, let's go. Paul? His name is Paul? Yes. Your son? Am I too young to have a son? Ah, uh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. Hello, Nimsi. Ah, uh, you're Paul too? Yes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay. See you later, Nimsik. All right. Please be careful with yeah, everything I will. in the I house. will. You're still here? Yeah, so it seems. You're back. Yes. Since almost every socket in this house was bad, I had to go to the market to get new ones. Oh, it must have been very stressful for you. Yeah, it was. I guess the house has been vacant for a while. Yeah, that's true. It has. <laughs> hey, how was the school today, Nimsik? It was fine. And what were you taught? The role of a father in the family. The role of a father in the family. So what's the role of your father in this house? Uh, Paul, let's go in and freshen up, okay? Okay. What? What's wrong with him? Drop this. Please don't inhale. What's wrong with him? Relax, relax, relax. Please don't inhale. I get to here for you. I'm looking for his inhaler. I can't find it. Where is your inhaler? Relax, okay? Relax. Wait. Don't worry. I've called on Tizipura. She'll soon be here, okay? Thank you. Let me open it. Sorry. Open it, open it. Thank you so much. So I want to use the entire money from the business to buy coins. But since you showed me your wallet last year, I've decided to invest in it seriously, you know? So, bro, bro, where are you? Oh. I'm talking to you. Man, I'm here, I'm here. What's up, you're saying? I said, I want to use the money from the business to invest in coins, just like you did last year. Oh, oh, that, that, that's cool. That's fair enough. So I, I met this woman, I met this lady. Her face, it looked so familiar. I've been trying to place it, but it's been difficult. And her son, what about him? Uh, he's asthmatic. Yeah, he had this, this serious crisis years at day, and the mother couldn't find the inhaler. You needed to see her. She was behaving like a mad woman. I had to run like I've never done before down the streets to get a new inhaler at the nearest pharmacy. Yeah, and while I was running, you know, there was this, this feeling like, like a part of me was going off. And I've never felt it before. And you don't know them? No, no I don't. Hmm. But the son is okay now, right? Oh, uh, yeah. As I when I left, he was okay. Really good. You still the life. <laughs> yeah, but I... I still... I'm feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling. I've met her before. I just can't place it, but I have met her before. Good thing the boy is okay, and you were able to you were able to help. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. if if you if you have met them before, you might meet them again. Who knows? That's true. So when 
when you're ready, yeah? When you're ready to buy the coins, you just straight up business first. I'll put you through. Alright, business, business. Make money, bro. As usual, my bro. <laughs> Mama, we came to inform you that we're getting married. How is that my business? Eh? You can go ahead and get married to her. It's none of my business. Shouldn't you be happy for me? And shouldn't you be happy that I'm finally going to move on with my life and I have a chance at happiness? Mm -hmm. I should be happy for you. Oh yes, I should be happy for you on one condition. Go and get Janet back. Without that, there is nothing like happiness. Mama, how many times will I tell you Janet and I are history? Well, uh, that depends on on what awaits me. And what could be deserving of surprise? Well, first we could start with this, and then pounded yam, eggsy, and go meat. Okay, I better hurry to the market. See you tonight, yeah. Okay. All right, babe. All right. All right. For sake, how are you? I'm fine. How's school today? Fine. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Fine. So, um, thank you so much for the other day. No, nah, it's fine. It's okay. I'm glad he's okay now. You have your inhaler with you today, right? Good. <laughs> you live around here? Oh, uh, no. Just came to do some connections for your landlord. Ah, he has another apartment here? Yep. Just down the street. Oh. Okay. Will you come to the house and play game with me? Oh, sorry. Uncle has something to do. Let's go. Uh, you, you know what? I'll just go freshen up and I'll come beat you to your game. How about that? You don't okay. have to do that. Uh, it's fine. I want to. Okay. Right, I'll see you later. All right. Take care. Okay. okay. Hmm. I like him, Mommy. Can he be my friend? Why didn't you ask me that before inviting him to the house? Oh, yeah, go. Let's go. Uh, you want to drive? <laughs> you go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kelvin, I have set my mind on this matter. I am not in support your union with that girl. I don't like her for any reason. Mama, how are you going to like her when you've not even given it a chance? You've not given yourself a chance to even get to know her. What I know of her is enough. Or isn't she the lady you were cheating on your wife with? Mama, that's because things were not working out be between Janet and I. Then whose fault? Whose fault was that, Kelvin? Anyway, the very day you brought Janet to me was the day I gave you all my blessings. I do not have any other one for another woman. I'm sorry. Baby, please, let's go. I'll join you soon. <laughs> Mama, I really need you to take some time and reconsider this. For the sake of my happiness. For the sake of your happiness. <laughs> Can you guys bring your voices down? We're trying to have a civil conversation here. Your, your mother is bad, Bele. What did you say? Oh, nothing. I said, I said we we're sorry. I was making down a laugh like that. <laughs> no, he, he's winning. He's winning, that's why. You know what? Never tell someone the truth if it will hurt them. <laughs> 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 
can't no. remember the last time Paul laughed like that. Too. Paul has a way of making him laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paul, eh? Yeah. Paul looks like a nice guy. Mm. Yeah, he is. Mm. That's if he doesn't have a hidden mm. side, though. What do you mean? Come on, Janet. Fine boys like this and hidden side don't go together. You know these things now. Ah. Me, me. <laughs> you too like man. <laughs> I hope it is not what I am thinking it is. Maybe this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares what you think. Mm. I beg. Mm? Babe. Do you know if he has a girlfriend? I beg, I beg, come out from there. We don't talk about things like that here. Please. Uh -uh. So what do you guys talk about? Okay. Let me tell you what to talk about. Mm -hmm. What? Can you help me talk to him? I mean, put in a good word for me. I'll be your babe now. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, I will kill! I will! I will! <laughs> well done, boy. Well done. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. He gets to drink up now. Uh -uh. I didn't want, I don't want to drink. I said, follow person talk for me. Outside, I want to see you. Since when did Anita start seeking permission to see me? It's not Anita, sir. It's Madame Janet and your son, sir. Let them in. Hey! Oh. Hey, son. You didn't call to tell me you were coming. I'm sorry about that. We we're actually on our way home, but he insisted he wants to see you. You know how difficult it can be when he wants something. How are you, Paul? I'm fine, Dad. I miss you. Well... Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The driver is back. Oh. Okay, um... Paul, I'm sorry. Uh, Paul, Daddy has to go now. I have an urgent meeting. But I thought I could stay with you. Not today. Some other time. Will you come and play a game with me? Um, baby. Daddy is very busy. Uh, but I believe he'll come by to play a game with you when he's less busy. Hmm? Let's go. Daddy needs to go for his meeting. All right? Son? Uh, I'll come see you. Mommy, who was that auntie in daddy's office? Um... Okay, that is um, Daddy's colleague. Is she Anita? Where did you hear that name? I overheard and since the father saying that Daddy sent us away because of Anita. Is she the one? Uh, yes, her name is Anita. But Daddy did not send us away because of her. In fact, we did not leave the house because Daddy sent us away. Why did we leave then? Uh, because Daddy is very busy. He, he has a lot of work to do. You that, know how you disturb Daddy? That's not true. You just don't want to hurt me. <laughs> Why? Why did you say that? Nimsek told me to never tell the truth if it will hurt the other person. Paul told you that? Um... Okay, come here, come here, come here, sit. Hello, Paul. Where are you? I'm fine, just... This, can I see you? Yeah, I'm at home. Alright, thank you. I'm waiting.
What is it? Leaves. What's the matter? Did I, I do something wrong? I don't understand. You've been avoiding me. You neither return my calls or messages. What's going on? Sandra, that's because I've been busy. You've been busy? Busy for your woman? My woman? Yes. Am I not your woman? Or what am I to you? Listen, Sandra. I can't remember asking you out. I never did, okay? What we're doing is, we're just having fun. Cool. Don't say that to me. You know I love you. Listen, okay? Like I said, what we're doing is we're just having fun. I need to go. I'm busy. I've got work to do. Please. Oh. Please, I need to go. Babe. Yes, I'm, I'm coming. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Who are you? Oh, my name is Paul. I'm um, Janet's friend. Janet's friend? Yes, ma'am. Where is she? Oh, uh, Janet, she, she's sick. I had to rush her to the hospital. Yes, ma'am. I just stopped by. To the hospital? Yes, ma'am. Can you please take me to the hospital? Okay, just a minute. Let me finish what I'm making, ma'am. My dear, mm -hmm. how are you doing today? Already, this young man here has told me what happened. But please, do not think too much. Already, the doctor has said it that if you think too much, might result to stroke. Please, my daughter, I don't want to lose you. Mama, you're not going to lose me. How are you? I should be the one asking you that. My son, yes, God will bless you with a very beautiful and respectful wife, like my daughter in law here. Amen. Amen. Ah, Janet. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I need to go home and freshen up so I can come stay with you. No, that wouldn't be necessary. I will stay with her till she gets well. Ah, Mama, are you sure? Of course I am sure. You are my responsibility. There's part what has been going on between you and my son. Well, um, all right then. I guess I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Good night, Mom. Thank you so Good much. Night. Right. I appreciate My dear. Ma. You will be fine, okay? Mm. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama. Ma, you, you don't have to do this. Please. Kelvin, I will do as I please until you decide to do the right thing and bring Janet and her son back to this house. Mama, I don't know. Why is it so hard for you to understand that things are over between Janet and I? I'm getting married to, to Anita in, in, in just a week. What do you want me to do? 
Calvin, there you go again. You can go ahead and get married to her if you choose to. It's none of my business. The heart of a woman is very soft. All it wants is to be treated so special. Every woman wants to be treated like the most important woman in this world. Kelvin, go and make Janet feel like the most important person before another person does that. Don't say I did not warn you. Mama. I... Not your auntie. Where is your mother? We just got back from the hospital, so she is resting. Oh, wait, Dad! Hello. How may I help you? If there's anyone in need of help, I think it's you. Excuse me? Excuse you. Paul is my man. I don't want to see you anywhere around him. I won't repeat myself again. Understood? Close my door. Hey. What? Um. Can I help you? Okay. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Just stay away from me and my son. And as for that tout that came here ranting, just tell her I'm not in the mood for all that today. But next time she comes close to me or my son, I'll make sure she spends the rest of her miserable life behind bars. Okay, no, slow now down. get out of my house! Slow down, slow down. Okay, who came here ranting and about what? Your girlfriend! My what girlfriend? Get out! Leave! Rubbish. Yeah, who is there? Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Oh, these people. <laughs> Dare go to Janet's house yesterday and threaten her? I wouldn't just hold your neck. I'll break every damn bone on your neck. Ah. I won't warn you again. Bastard. Ah. I am sorry, Jenny. I know how much you wanted Kelvin to come back to you and Paul. When was the wedding? Last week in Calabar. It was a secret wedding with family and a few friends. Although I hear his mother did not attend. Guy, offer. Shake me now. I just stopped by you, please. And your chubby neighbor said you just came in and left. That she was greeting you and you refused to greet her. What was the problem now? Why, why are women so selfish? What's the problem? What did women do to you? You remember that lady I told you about? Which lady? The... The lady now, the one with the familiar lady with the asthmatic son. Oh, 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 I remember. Yes, yes. What happened to her? Okay, now, about a month ago, I went to fix a socket for this lady. S the same lady? 
No, 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 not, not the same lady. This one, her name is Sandra. Okay. You know, uh, after fixing the socket, one thing led to another. <laughs> so, so we went down. Bad guy. Um, bro, stop now. Stop. I'm being serious here. Sorry. Okay, so after the first time, I started going there once in a while. You know now. You know, you know how it is. Now, this lady had the temerity to go to the other lady's house and warn her to stay away from me. Wait. Bro, now you got me all confused. Which lady went to which lady? Sandra now, Sandra, went to the familiar lady, the one with the asthmatic son. She went to warn her to stay away from me. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Why, why would she do that? Or are you also going down with the baby mama? No, no, we were, not, we were just friends now, Abba. We were not. Just friends, huh? So, if you're just friends, why would your lover go threaten her if there isn't any threats? Now, first, Sandra and I are not lovers. Okay? This is something I've made abundantly clear to her already. And yes, Janet and I, we're just friends. Just friends? Yeah. It's fine. I can see you must really, really like this lady. To make you do the things you're doing. So what about a husband or a baby daddy? Hey. They're separated. Yeah, be careful though. Hey. Hey. Paul, oh, how are you? I'm fine, I miss you. Uh, <clears throat> can I talk to you in private, please? Um Please, can you excuse us for a minute? I can't, please. Um, what do you want? <sighs> Sit down. School resumed yesterday, and Paul has not resumed school because you're yet to pay his school fees. We also ran out of full stuff. Uh, well, things are a little tough right now, you know, with added responsibilities and all that. But uh, I'll see what I can do. Why are you explaining things to her like you owe her some sort of explanation? Is she your wife? Now listen to me. I can share every other thing, but definitely not my man. Janet, you are a woman and a graduate at that. Go out there, get a job and take care of yourself and your son. And stop lazying about and looking for people's husband to depend on. If you must be a parasite, go get your own husband and pray on him. And you, boy, Stop calling my husband your daddy. He is not your father. Anita, this, this is not necessary. No, you need to tell them. Please. I don't like it. Are you not my daddy? Yes. I'm waiting for you. Yes. Right now. What's going on? Make love to me, Paul. <laughs> Wait. Don't you find me attractive? Of course I do, but 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 this is not you, Janet. Hey, you're talking too much. Come. Wait. Where's Paul? <sighs> Kelvin is the only man I have ever loved. How can he remarry knowing I have been here, waiting for him to come back to us? 
What happened? Why did you leave him? Leave him? I will never leave Kelvin. He asked us to leave. Why? I lost my virginity on our wedding night. Kelvin couldn't bear the pains of losing my virginity to that criminal. Where did this happen? At Kelvin's place. Number 8, Aquino Street. I lost my virginity to that criminal in front of my husband. My life was ruined when I discovered I was pregnant for that, for that savage. Please, yes, yes, we yes, just yes. got married. We just got married and I'm still a virgin. Please. <laughs> Anita. Yes, Miss Lowe. Where's my food? I didn't cook. Again? So, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to go hungry? No! Who said that? You can simply step out there and get food from an eatery. And exactly how long will I keep doing that? Why the hell do I have a wife at home? Kelvin. You didn't buy a chef. You married a wife. If you're hungry, go grab some food from an eatery. Oh, but still, prepare noodles for yourself. The best option, get a cook. Please. You know, you're really, really annoying. This pisses me off a lot. You realize that, right? You're pushing my buttons. <laughs> and where the hell do you think you're going to? I now owe you an explanation for every of my movements. Like hell you do? You think you don't owe me an explanation for where you're going to? I'm your husband for crying out loud! Oh, Kelvin, please. I don't have energy for petty arguments now. I have a meeting to attend with my dad. Excuse me. You know, me. I'm also getting sick and tired of your... your Anita, please, please, don't, don't play. Don't, don't play, please. Anita! Um, Kelvin, may I see you in private, please? Sure. Kelvin, tell me what really happened. We had another fight and there was an altercation. I shoved her and she fell. And I thought all that ended with Janet.
Anyway, that's not why I called you out here. Calvin, I have something to tell you about your new wife. Although it's against our medical ethics to disclose our patient's history, but you are like a brother to me. That's why I feel obligated to tell you. I mean, I won't be at peace if I don't tell you. What is it? Your wife has been my patient for years now. Four years ago, she attempted an abortion and it led to very severe complications. They had to rush her here for me to save her life. And in order for me to do that, I had, I had to take out her womb. I'm sorry, she won't be able to bear your children. What? I don't know what happened. All I know is that I told him to touch me. I told him to make love to me, make me forget my sorrow. He refused? Yes, he refused. He told me I wasn't acting right. And you know what? That made what? me fall in love with him. Instantly. Uh, hello? <laughs> I don't understand you. Fall in love with him? How? Where? When? I thought I was the one that asked you to help me put in a good word for him. Calm down, Mimi. Hey, 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 shut up. I wasn't talking to you. Rubbish. You, you asked me to calm down. Were you not here when I asked her to put in a good word for me? And what did she do instead? She went behind my back to corner him for herself. And you're telling me to calm down. Why are you selfish? Yes. Don't harm me. You are very selfish and wicked. Mimi. You know that I like him, yet you, 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 you went ahead and cornered him for yourself. Hmm. Nonsense. We... Okay. You were once married. Why not allow us to enjoy this benefit also? Let me ask you something. How are you so sure that you can keep him since you were not able to keep your first husband? Me? Hey, shut up! Ah. Mm. Rubbish. The both of you deserve each other. Maybe eat your food now. Why hasn't he said come to see us? I don't know. Maybe he's busy. I miss him. I miss him too, son. true. It is true, Janet. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry I ruined your marriage. I'm sorry for all the pains I've caused you and Paul. Get out of my house! J J Janet, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I've regretted it every day. You were there, you saw it. I was just a naive boy who was forced by my brother to rape you. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to do it. You saw it. I was forced and I had to do it to save your husband. I am sorry. Didn't you hear what I said? Do I have water in my mouth? Get out of my house and I never want to see you anywhere close to me and my son again in your life! I'll make sure you rot in jail. Did you hear what I said? Get out! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get out! I have no 
that the things will turn out this way. None of us did, but he has. What was that reaction when you told her? She was furious. <coughs> Very furious. You know, she was so furious that I wish she slapped me. Yeah. Maybe that would have made her feel better. Yes, I understand. And uh, she warned me to stay away from her and her son. Never to come close to them again. Shindy, you need to see this boy. He's so cute. So intelligent that every time I'm with him, I feel so comfortable. Very comfortable that I don't want to leave. And how does she feel about you before now? Well, I... She loved me. Oh, so I thought. You know, there was this day she asked me over to her house. And she practically begged me to make love to her. Yeah, she did. But I refused because she wasn't acting like herself. Janet, Janet is not like that. She's this reserved lady, you know. And you know the most coincidental part of this whole thing? What's that? The boy. His name is also Paul. I see. Yeah. Can I ask you this question? Sure. Knowing that that boy was a product of that night, does that make you feel any better? Better enough to forgive your own brother. Here you are, drinking. What kind of a man abandons his wife in a hospital after putting her there? The kind who is married to a fellow man. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand. Oh, what, please, what are you talking about? Please, stop it. Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. How long did you think you were going to hide it from me? One year? Two years, three years, four years. Exactly how long did you think you were going to hide the fact that you are barren from me? That you had your womb removed during one of your numerous abortions? Numerous abortions, you say? How dare you say that to me, Kelvin? How dare you? What were you thinking when you were busy sleeping with me without protection? You think I was barren? That I would get pregnant? Please, don't put this on me. Don't put this on me because I had nothing to do with sure it. Sure you did! Kelvin, you know as much as I do that I've never been with any other man since I started with you. This abortion you talk about was four years ago. We've been together for six years. Do the math! I couldn't end up alone. After you made me bury. I don't have time for your nonsense. You go upstairs, pack your things, and leave my house and life forever. Whoa. That's a strong pronouncement, Kelvin. One you should really meditate on before making. Now, let me tell you what you stand to lose if it happens. First, I will take more than half of your miserable wealth. That's after my father must have sacked you. Secondly,
I'll take this house from you. Thirdly, Kelvin, I will use every influence my father's name has to make sure you never get employed in this city or any other popular city in this country. Now tell me, Kelvin, does your pronouncement stand or you retract it? as much. I have warned you to stay away from my son. Let's go. It's my son too. I knew from the beginning that that girl was not good for you. But you wouldn't listen to me. You were blinded by the hatred you had for Janet and her son. That you, you didn't want to listen to reason. Mama, I, I was in love with her. And I thought she loved me back. That is your problem. Mama... Why are you talking like this? I'm your son. Your only son. I know people without children that are fine. Come on, Mom. Mom, I really need your help. Please, I need your help. I need you to help me get Janet back. Please. Kelvin. Kelvin. I don't have any help to render to you. Go to your barren wife and sort yourself. What a small world we live in. No wonder the strong bond between him and Paul. Paul, the father of Paul. What a coincidence. So what are you going to do now? What do you mean? Didn't you hear what I said? I told him to stay away from my son and I. Ah, yes, I heard you. But don't you think you should have listened to him? You told me yourself that he was forced to rape you and that he had to do it else the leader would have killed you and Kelvin. Doesn't that mean anything? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that he ruined my marriage. It doesn't change the fact that he took away the life I wanted with Kelvin and gave me a son without a father. But you are in love with him now. Paul is also very fond of him. The guy is no longer an arm robber, is he? Don't you think this is fate playing with you all? <laughs> I lost faith the day Kelvin sent us out of his house. Paul is... I'm so sorry, Janet. I failed you and our son. I abandoned you and our son. I hated you for, for something that was no fault of yours. Instead of protecting you, I was a coward. I sat there and watched him rape you and did nothing. And then turned around and made your life even more miserable for another eight years. I don't know. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? I'm really sorry. I still love you.
I am sorry, Janet. I know that I have wronged you and our son. The truth is I haven't been able to forgive myself for what happened that night. All I ask is that you just let me do right by you and Paul. What happened that night? It's very shameful. But if Paul was the product, then I can live with it. I love you, Janet. How, how did you get here? Hi. Hi. Um, so, is this where we'll be staying? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I have Bitcoin worth over $500,000. Yes. $500,000, huh? So how much will I be getting? All of it. All of it? All of it. Plus the ones I'm here to make. Oh! <laughs> well, I get the latest PS, Daddy. <laughs> Would order even the ones that are yet to be manufactured, so... <laughs> Come here. <laughs> 